Move mode. Dot 1 will let you trim the object. Dot 2 lets you freely move the object. And dot 3 will squash and stretch the object about the pivot. If you right click dot 3, it will inflate. The modifiers don't really alter the trim action, but let's see what they do to the others. If we add a shift modifier, we restrain the actions to the direction of the transpose line. If we add an alt modifier with dot 2, we can bend the portion of the objects between dots 1 and 3. And if we use alt with dot 3, we bend from dot 1. The same is also true for inflate. If we add the control modifier, all the dots have the same function. It will duplicate the object. However, if we mask part of the object and use the control modifier, dot 2 will allow you to extrude the unmasked mesh, and dot 1 or 3 will allow you to separate the unmasked part of the mesh. Pretty cool. One last thing, if you use control alt modifier in dynamesh mode, you get a negative copy which when redynameshed, subtract from the original. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that thumbs up button.